You don't make mistakes, no. Perfectly, fearfully, wonderfully, you look like the king. Perfectly, fearfully, wonderfully, you look like the king. Perfectly, fearfully, wonderfully, you look like the king. Image bears, image bearers. You look like me, he says. I formed you to look like me. I formed you to move like me. I formed you to love like me. Mistakes, he says. I took my time with you. I don't make mistakes, he says. Fearfully, wonderfully made you are. Fearfully, wonderfully perfect. Don't be afraid to shine my light into a dark world. I delight in how I made you. I delight in how I made you. Perfectly, wonderfully, fearfully, beautifully made you are. Beautifully made you are. Jesus, I thank you. Thank you that when you look at us, God, you take delight in us. And I feel like he's given the freedom that when you look at yourself, you can say, I look like my father. <laughs> I look like my heavenly father. His DNA is within my bloodline. Father, I thank you that you have restored even the way we see ourselves today. Jesus, I thank you even for the people watching online, maybe even driving and they put the live stream on or maybe even at home where suicidal thoughts are real or maybe even just the person that said, I need to listen to something today because I wanna give up or I wanna give in. I'm not good enough, I'm not worth it. I just wanna read this over you. Psalms 18, 19, he brought me forth also into a broad place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. <laughs> it's not he rescued me because he wanted to use me for his glory. It's not he rescued me because he had a purpose for me to, to be a great preacher or leader, or he rescued me because I was the best of my class, or he rescued me because I was perfect. No, he rescued me because he delighted in me. He saw me where I was in the midst of my problems, in the midst of chaos. He rescued me, he brought me out, he formed me in my mother's womb because in his perfect idea, creating me was perfect to him. The same God that established the universe through his voice and said, it, it's good created you in your mother's womb and said, it is good. <laughs> the same one that called the stars to stand where they are and the sun to come up in the day, the same bright mind that created the universe is the same bright mind that established and created every 
Adam in your body to be formed exactly the way that it is, how your hair is, how your eyes are, the way that you speak, the way that you feel, even the way that you, you, your character is. He created it because he said it is good. And Father, I just thank you today. Just like Bo was singing out, I thank you that your blood is coming in and rotting away every self-hatred, every thought, every mindset that is filled with unbelief about who we are. I thank you, Jesus, that you're just renewing us today. I don't know if this is for you or for someone in your family. If it's a family member or a friend that you know that's just been having destructive mindsets. I just wanna declare this over you. Those thoughts aren't your thoughts. They're not being manufactured in your heart. God would never put that in your heart. It's a lie from the enemy that we laugh at today. And we say it's not true. It's not true. And you don't even need to come into this place like violently or say, hey, get out of my mind. These thoughts get out of my mind. And all you have to do is say, man, I'm loved. A lot of the times we want the drums to go in. We want to release a shout. But when his love comes in, it's so thick and so heavy that it breaks off every thought that didn't belong. So Jesus, I thank you. If it's you, just put your hand on your heart. Or if you're representing a family member or a friend or someone that's been walking through even depression, even thoughts about themselves that shouldn't be, I just want us to pray real quick. Jesus, I thank you that even right now, God, you're breaking every thought pattern. You're breaking everything that doesn't belong. I thank you that your love speaks a better word that you rescued us, that you created us because you delighted in us. That the Trinity came together and said, this is a good idea that you would be alive today. It's a good idea that I can hear your voice. Father, I thank you that you're releasing the revelation that your heart is moved by the sound of our voice. I thank you that you're a compassionate Father and you're not coming to us angry. We have a high priest that can sympathize and understand us exactly where we are. He's not asking you to get these emotions and push them to the side. He's saying, come in with the way that you feel. Come in with the thoughts that you have. Come sit at my table and just watch how my love renews your thoughts. Jesus, I thank you that you're breaking off suicidal thoughts. Jesus, I thank you that you're breaking off even unhealthy insecurities and expectations that we put on ourselves to be anything but what you've called us to be. Even in the room, I feel like maybe you've been living up to a certain standard or certain expectations placed on you by parents or from the workplace or even from society. His love is here to break that off too. He never put expectations on you when you sit at his table. He just wanted you to be. So we break off false expectations off of you right now in the name of Jesus. What they said you had to be, I rebuke that. Lord, just release the blueprint of heaven of who you've called us to be. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your love. Spirit of God, continue to minister to us in this room. And I just want you guys to stay there. Just have your eyes closed. I'm gonna have someone that's gonna come up and share a testimony and have them pray over you. But just know that the Lord is moving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.